Hello friends, I welcome you on Baiju's Exam Prep, India's most comprehensive preparation platform for all the engineers. Today I am going to tell you a big opportunity for your recruitment from Haryana Power Utilities. There are number of organizations within this recruitment like Haryana Vidyut Prasaran Nigam Limited, Haryana Power Generation Corporation Limited, Uttar Haryana Bijli Vitran Nigam Limited, and Dakshin Haryana Bijli Vitran Nigam Limited. There are significant vacancies for electrical and other engineering branches. So do not miss this opportunity. And within next five to seven minutes, be with me. I will tell you all the details required to fill up this application form. So let us proceed. Haryana Power Utilities, namely Haryana Vidyut Prasaran Nigam Limited, Haryana Power Generation Corporation Limited, Uttar Haryana Bijli Vitran Nigam Limited and Dakshin Haryana Bijli Vitran Nigam Limited, they invite applications for the post of Assistant Engineer, Electrical Carder, Assistant Engineer, Mechanical under the Electrical Carder and Assistant Engineer, Civil Carder from the eligible candidates. The criteria is those candidates who have qualified or cleared the GATE 2022 examination as the case may be and fulfills the qualification criteria of the Haryana public uh, power utilities as given in the following information. First, let us talk about the electrical discipline. There are total 88 posts. What is the essential qualification? There is a full-time bachelor of engineering degree or equivalent degree from a university duly recognized by the central government or a state government with a minimum of 60% marks in respect of general category and other category candidates and 50% marks in respect of scheduled caste category candidates of Haryana domicile. In any of the following discipline, electrical engineering and electrical and electronics engineering. So both pure electrical engineering and electrical and electronics mix, both the branches are eligible. Otherwise, full-time Master of Engineering degree or equivalent degree from a university duly recognized by central government or state government with a minimum 60% marks for general category and other category candidates and 55% marks for the scheduled caste category candidates of Haryana domicile. In electrical and electrical and electronics engineering discipline, in case of candidates having full-time bachelor of engineering degree or equivalent degree in electrical and electrical and electronics with marks less than 60% for general and other candidates and less than 55% for scheduled caste category candidates of Haryana domicile. I hope it is clear. The code of gate 2022 paper should be electrical engineering. It means they must have appeared in the gate examination in uh, electrical engineering uh, discipline. The pay scale is going to be 53,100 to 1,67,800 in the pay matrix of level 9. They must have passed Hindi or Sanskrit up to the matrix standard or in higher education. So Hindi or Sanskrit is going to be compulsory up to matrix, that is 10th class. For mechanical discipline, number of posts are 41 and similarly you have the essential qualifications as we have discussed for electrical engineering, same is the case for mechanical engineering. The code of the gate 2022 paper is mechanical and the pay scale is same as for electrical. Then for civil discipline there are 14 vacancies similar essential qualifications. The gate 2022 code is civil engineering and the pay scale is same. Nigam or the corporation candidates. Nigam or corporate candidates of Haryana Power Utilities in order to be eligible for the direct appointment. This is important. If you are a Nigam candidate, direct appointment as assistant engineer are also required to qualify in the corresponding paper of gate 2022. So if you are a Nigam or corporation candidate, still you must have appeared in the gate 2022 examination. The Nigam Corporation eligible candidates of HPUs are required to apply online and shall forward copy of printout of their online application form to the respective existing carder controlling authority of his/her utility through proper channel on or before 
27th of January 2023. Nigam or corporation candidates of Haryana Power Utilities should upload a copy of the ID card issued by the respective Haryana Power Utility during the submitting of online application form. The names of only such eligible Nigam Corporation candidates of HPUs forwarded by the respective HPUs shall be considered for selection. Mere forwarding of name does not make an employee eligible for selection, so this process has to be followed. Nigam and Corporation candidates of HPUs are not exempted from application fee. It means they also have to pay the application fee. In case of selection of Nigam or Corporation candidates, no benefit of past services rendered in the Nigam or Corporation will be admissible. He, she will be treated as a fresh entrant for all intent and purposes. So once a Nigam or Corporation candidates get into this recruitment or joins this job, then he or she is going to be treated as a fresher candidate. What is the age limit? The age limit on the last date of submission or receipt of the application form that is 23rd of January 2023 is going to be it is 20 to 42 years for assistant engineer. These are the age relaxation for the general EWS schedule cast and so many other categories as you can see here. A students appearing in the final year of the semester. This is one important confusion among the students. So the candidates are the students appearing in the final year or semester having essential qualification as on 23rd of January 2023 will only be eligible to be appointed as assistant engineer or electrical and assistant engineer mechanical under electrical cadre and assistant engineer civil cadre in Haryana power utilities like this. Okay. So final year or final semester appearing students can also apply but it should be within this date only. What is the selection process? The candidates who have acquired the essential qualification as mentioned must have qualified the gate 2022 examination as the case may be and uh, for different branches. The selection of the candidate in each category would be done by the SPUs from the eligible candidates as given in para 1 above on the basis of the result of gate 2022 and socio-economic criteria and experience. Socio-economic criteria and experience is one important dimension because it has significant amount of weightage. The qualifying marks in respect of the gate 2022 shall be declared by the gate 2022 organizing institute that is IIT Kharagpur in 2022 for respective gate paper and discipline. The scheme of marks in respect of the selection to assistant engineer group B post shall comprise of total 100 marks. Total 100 marks are there. The weightage of gate exam is 80 marks. It is normalized gate marks out of 100 marks. So whatever marks you are getting out of 100 that will be normalized uh, to give 80% weightage. So it is going to be multiplied by 0 0.8. The second dimension is the socio-economic criteria and experience which carries a weightage of 20 marks. How it is distributed, the marks for experience and some ob objective socio-economic criteria are to be allocated as follows. Number one, if neither the applicant nor any person from among the applicant's family, namely father, mother, spouse, spouse means wife or husband, brother and son is, was, has been a regular employee in any department, board, corporation, company, statutory body, commission, authority of government of Haryana or any other state government or government of India, then 10 marks will be allotted. If the applicant is a widow, if first or the second child and his father had died before attaining the age of 42 years, the first or the second child and his father had died before the applicant had attained the age of 15 years, then 10 marks to be allotted. If the applicant belongs to such a denotified tribe, Vimut Jatis and Tapriwas Jatis are nomadic tribes of the state of Haryana, which is neither a scheduled caste nor a backward class, then also 10 marks to be allotted. On the basis of experience, one mark for each year or part thereof exceeding 6 months of experience out of a maximum of 16 years on the same or a higher post in any department, board, corporation, company, statutory body, commission, authority of government of Haryana. 
no marks shall be awarded for any period less than six months so minimum experience should be six months and six months onwards uh, you will be getting one mark for each year and accordingly it is going to be calibrated for six months so maximum marks are going to be 16 marks but the most important part is no applicant shall be given more than 20 marks for the socio-economic criteria and experience under any circumstances so if there is a candidate who falls into overlapping more than two categories suppose two or three categories then what is his best choice that is going to be taken that is a logical conclusion the selection process consists of marks are obtained 80 percent of the normalized marks out of 100 in the corresponding paper of gate examination 2022 and 20 marks from the socio-economic criteria and experience no interview will be carried out for the post being advertised by hpus so there is no interview only this procedure is there appointment will be made on the basis of the gate scorecard and the socio-economic criteria gate result of 2021 or prior is not valid so only gate 2022 is going to be valid the applicant is required to fill up the normalized marks out of 100 obtained in the gate 2022 during the submission of the application besides this educational qualification must be from a recognized institution authority or university in case of total 100 marks if the two candidates two or more candidates are getting the equal score then candidates who is elder who is older in age would be considered higher in the merit further in case of age is also equal then candidate having more marks in the essential qualification would be considered higher in the merit the short listing of the eligible candidates numbering two times of the advertised post for a particular category would be called for verification or checking of the original documents certificates in order of merit prepared on the basis of selection criteria mentioned above the nigam at its sole discretion may give extended chances to a candidate who due to some genuine constraints could not appear on the scheduled date and time fixed for the verification of original documents and certificates now there will be a waiting list also and the waiting list equivalent to 10 percent subject to minimum two of the posts advertised for a particular category will be prepared the person from the waiting list will be offered appointment against all the vacancies falling vacant for any reason including due to resignation death newly selected death of newly selected appointed incumbents during the period of validity of the waiting list the waiting list could be valid for one year from the date of declaration of result in terms of instruction issued by this notification the offer of appointment will be issued by the respective hpus to the selected candidates in order of category wise merit prepared on the basis of gate 2022 and socio economic and experience criteria the selected candidates for the post of assistant engineer will produce medical fitness certificate required for the first entry into the service from a civil surgeon on any district in haryana state before joining the service this is the amount of fee you can see 500 for male general category candidates and male candidates of all reserve categories of other states and it is 125 for female candidates uh, general and reserved categories of all states and male candidates of schedule cost and other categories have to pay 125 rupees for all persons with disability of haryana only there will be no application fee so these are some details about how you can make the fee payment these are the documents which should be uploaded during the submission of the online application for example proof of date of birth essential qualification norm proof of norms adopted by the university or institute to convert the cgpa or other grades into the percentage and gate 2022 scorecard as issued by the organizing iit that is iit kharagpur schedule cast or other categories certificate domicile certificate disability certificate discharge certification and other eligibility certificates ews income and asset certificate and a scanned copy of certificate or documents claiming the weightage of the marks under socio-economic criteria and experience by the competent authority these are the important dates 23rd of december 2022 the submission of online application is going to open and the closing date for the submission of online application is 23rd of january 2023 
the cutoff date for the purpose of upper age limit or reservation or essential qualification is 23rd of January. These are the important official websites which you can follow to fill up the application form. So this is all from my side in this session. Subscribe to Baiju's exam prep for all these important updates for your career. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much. Take care.